Hi everyone, welcome to the Dr. Cliff YouTube channel. Uh, today we're gonna talk about feeding your pet cat a vegan diet. I'm a vegetarian, I have a lot of friends who are vegan, my own daughter's vegan, and I have a lot of patients who, uh, pardon me, I have a lot of clients who ask me, because they're vegan, can they feed their cat uh, a vegan diet as well? The simple answer is if you want them to survive, yes, of course you can. You gotta do some supplementation. There's some things you'll look, you have to look out for, but if you want them to thrive and be as healthy and as happy as long as possible, I'm sorry to tell you this, but it's really not feasible and, and not advisable. Um, look, I know some of you guys are getting, uh, getting angry already and rolling your eyes. The, the vegans, you vegans, you're my favorite, some of my favorite people in the world. Uh, you care so much about animals and you've taken these steps, often at your own peril because you always seem so tired all the time. Relax, it's a joke. Uh, and I stole it from Joe Rogan, so I, I think it's okay. You gotta give me a pass. All right, let's, you know what, let's just get right onto this uh, topic. So people who are vegan, as I, you know, I was joking about it, but seriously, Vegans have taken some amazing steps for various reasons, their own health, uh, definitely some health benefits to living a vegan diet uh, or living a vegan lifestyle. Um, there's some huge benefits to the environment uh, world over and we'll be helping our children and our children's children, et cetera, et cetera. And then of course there's the uh, animal ethics uh, uh, side of the, of the reason for going vegan as well. So, you know, as we get into this, uh, like and subscribe and comment and uh, oh, and please check out my Patreon page uh, to help sort of support more of these animal rescue efforts that my daughter Emily and I do every single uh, week. There's some really cool uh, merchandise and behind the scenes footage. All right, so let's talk about feeding a cat a vegan diet and why myself and, and the vast majority of veterinarians uh, strongly disagree. So cats are what we call an obligate carnivore or they're obligated to eat meat. That's how they've been designed. That's how sort of mother nature has had them adapt. Um, feeding them a non-meat diet would just be like feeding a, a cow nothing but meat, which, you know, would be unnatural, but pretty weird because then you'd have a, a, a carnival, uh, a cannibal cow running around as well. So um, it's just not, it's just not possible. And and the issue is, is cats have this vast need, serious health need for high levels of protein and high levels of certain quality protein. And I didn't say just quality protein, it's specific types of protein. Um, I'm sick of people asking me how, as a vegetarian, where do I get my protein from? I'm sure the vegans out there uh, get that question over and over again. And the answer is, we get it from food but we're able to digest and we're able to process a lot of those carbohydrates and all those proteins. Cats can't metabolize carbohydrates very efficiently. It can lead to all kinds of skin disorders. It can actually greatly increase the risk of diabetes in cats and even obesity is, is an issue. So now as far as protein specifically, there's an essential amino acid called taurine that and amino acids are basically the building block of proteins. Uh, all these proteins are made up of all these tiny molecules called amino acids. And an essential amino acid, taurine in specific for cats, is one where the body cannot process uh, and make up that amino acid through other amino acids. So there's no way that through other sources of nutrition, a cat can create taurine. And taurine is important for the immune system, uh, muscle development and muscle function. And we don't just mean sort of, you know, skeletal muscles, right? Like we're talking about digestive muscles, so smooth muscle, cardiac muscle of the heart. Um, taurine is also really important for retinal uh, function and development. So cats that are fed a vegan diet or fed, and there's other issues with grain-free diets being deficient in taurine, which we'll talk about on another episode, um, but cats that are deficient in taurine develop two major issues. And, and you know, I could get into the minutia of all the other diseases, but the big one for the heart is called DCM or dilated cardiomyopathy. Dilated meaning it expands, cardiomyopathy meaning cardiac myo is muscle, disease of the heart muscle. And basically this strong sort of thick heart muscle becomes weak and sort of flaccid and starts to spread out and the heart becomes bigger. And instead of beating like this, 
It's just kind of doing these little things like this. So they go into heart failure eventually. And it can take months and months and months, even a year of taurine deficiency before your cat shows any of these symptoms. And unfortunately, when it reaches that, it's too late. Now I talked also about retinal, um, retinal function and development related to taurine. So cats that are on a taurine deficient diet uh, can develop retinal degeneration, essentially. Uh, again, Joe Rogan does this great talk about uh, hashtag vegan cat. And if you check out hashtag vegan cat, unfortunately, a lot of these cats you can see, or at least I can see, and if you have sort of some medical knowledge, you can see that their eyes aren't, aren't right and they're not focusing properly. Um, and so these cats essentially lose their eyesight. They become blind. And, and again, by the time they start to show this degeneration of the retina visible on, say, our physical exam findings, it's often very, very difficult and, and sometimes impossible to reverse it. Now you can supplement and, and people out there are going to say, well, you can supplement with taurine. Well, yes, you can. But the problem is, is natural taurine comes from an animal product. Um, so if you're worried about animal sort of ethics and, and, and humane treatment of animals and you don't want to kill animals to feed your cat, you're kind of doing that to supplement with the taurine. You can get synthetic taurine and it's this sort of massively complicated chemical reaction of how they sort of add this and a little bit of this and a little bit of that and mix it all up and they create taurine. Um, but it's not as, not as efficient uh, as being absorbed. It's extremely expensive. Um, and, and frankly, it's just not, it's just not good enough. And often these vegan diets have some other sort of minutiae of abnormalities as well. So what can you do? I mean, uh, bless you. I think if, if you're a vegan or a vegetarian and you want to feed your cat sort of following these same sort of animal, animal ethics, uh, guidelines, um, you can actually find food brands that have these welfare certification labels on them. And it basically shows that they're, they're, they have humane and organic and natural farming practices, so they avoid the factory farming, and they're very transparent in where they get their, their meat products from. The other thing to do is avoid the meats that your cat in mother nature, in nature, wouldn't normally be eating. A cat can't take down a cow, so avoid beef. A cat can't take down a pig, so avoid pig, avoid sheep for the same reasons. Stick with things like chicken, fish, and rabbit if possible. Now, the other benefit of avoiding cow, sheep, and, and pork, uh, pig, is that you're avoiding these massively sort of methane producing farm animals, uh, much, much better for the environment as well. The last thing you gotta do, and this is regardless of if you're a vegan uh, or not, hopefully you're an animal lover if you're watching this, uh, watching this channel, um, you got to keep your cat indoors. Now for the benefit of the cat, cats that go outside, they live on average or live meaning as, as your pet, because some of them just disappear and maybe they don't die, but they're now someone else's pet. But cats live on average outside if they're an outdoor indoor cat, three years. Whereas if they're an indoor cat and they get regular veterinary care and you feed them properly, they're going to go 15, 20 years. So keep them indoors for the benefit of your cat, but also, if you wanna protect animals out there, if you allow your cat outside, you're allowing an amazing hunter that's this just assassin of catching birds and mice and bunny rabbits. In the US alone, all the cats together just kill up to 2.4 billion, with a B, 2.4 billion birds every single year, not including all the small uh, vertebrates like the mice and, 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 the, uh, and the bunny rabbits and whatnot. So keep your cat indoors, feed them a good diet. We could go into the minutia of all the other issues with feeding a vegan diet, but that's kind of the main thing. You know, again, I love it if you want to comment and, and tell me I'm full of crap. I mean, that's uh, arguable. Maybe I am, uh, but not on, the, not on this topic. Um, so please comment and, and share it with your friends, even if they're going to hate what I have to say. Um, check out Patreon page, uh, follow me on Instagram, and last but not least, always be kind to animals. Thanks, guys.